My name is Janni Marjanen. I work as a postdoc researcher in history at the University of Helsinki. Hey, my name is Marika van Up, and I work as a computational linguist at uh, VU University Amsterdam. My name is Joris van Einaten. I work as a historian at Utrecht University. My name is uh, Johan Jalbrink. I work as a senior lecturer at the University of uh, Umeå. My name is Sinai, Sinai Rusinek. I work as a um, consultant to the um, director at JPRESS. My name is uh, Bette van Waarden. Uh, I'm a PhD researcher here at uh, KU Leuven. And uh, yeah, I'm a Claren user. And I'm a Claren user. And I am a Claren user. I'm a media historian, uh, so I'm interested in uh, new technologies. Uh, media technologies during the 19th century uh, and um, how they are presented and uh, w in which context uh, they are presented. Uh, and right now I'm working with a, with a telegraph and uh, uh, when I use uh, the Clarin um, uh, tools, it's uh, uh, to uh, discover uh, patterns uh, in a way uh, that the contexts uh, that the telegraph is um, presented in. Right now, I'm mostly involved in uh, entity linking. So really, when you when you read a text um, and a person is mentioned in there, for example, Barack Obama, you want to know who this person is, you want to know more about it. So you want to link it, for example, to his Wikipedia page. And most of the time, this is not that hard, although I think a while ago, Barack Obama visited Obama and then you got both of them in the same text and you have to choose that. And then the, prog the, the problem gets even bigger when the text is talking about uh, people or, or places or organizations or, or otherwise interesting entities that are not in your database. So they're not in Wikipedia, for example. And this is, of course, a huge problem when we start working with historical texts, um, other resources that are not so popular. Um, so we're trying to figure out ways to, to still be able to find useful information about these entities in a text and, and link them uh, to other resources or at least gather more information about them if we can't link them properly. My research deals very much with the development of political language in, in Finland and in the Nordic countries in general. And I, I obviously use the newspapers as an important source material, but I also rely on the, the language bank that, that Clarin provides in Finland in order to see, see sentence structures and, and word uses in context and so on. So I both study the texts uh, as such, the newspaper text, but I then also try to have a sort of more macro approach to, to language change and, and the change from political concepts basically by by then doing more quantitative analysis with the, with the newspaper material. At this uh, workshop um, there have uh, a number of tools have been presented which I think would be worthwhile exploring. There was a, a session just now on uh, using uh, corpus linguistics tools and I found the tool very promising and, uh, and interesting. I do historical research, I look for cultural patterns in the past. Um, so this, was, uh, this specific tool I was talking about just now um, was a corpus linguistics tool. And just by um, being aware of the um, kind of distribution of words um, around a specific keyword in which you're interested, um, for that kind of research this tool is, is interesting and it gives you an idea of, of um, the things that happened in particular moments in the past um, in connection to the meanings people gave those events or persons or whatever you're looking at. I think what most of us want to do here is to learn learn what other people have done in other countries and also to to be able to use the resources that are provided by, by the by Clarin in, in different countries. Uh, but bas basically I think it's very much about inspiration, learning new things and then putting them to practice at home. The, the main reason I'm here is actually because I was given this uh, opportunity to fantasize um, as a scholar in digital humanities about what a, a newspaper platform um, can do and or what we can do with it. Users tend to be quite conservative. Uh, they, they don't often know what they can do or they're hesitant to do try new things. So I'm hoping to, to uh, lose my conservative edge here. Well, I um, uh, think that uh, it's a nice way to meet uh, new colleagues. Uh, 
uh, scholars interested in sometimes uh, very similar uh, issues in other countries. And I also uh, think that it, uh, it's um, a good way to learn about uh, more of these tools that, that you have developed uh, and also tools developed by other researchers. Uh, so, uh, and so far it's been uh, good. <laughs>